And despite what many may think, the U.S. economy is by no means dominated by giant corporations. In fact, small business is truly the backbone of our economy. Marjorie Perry is president and CEO of her own small construction business, MZM, and is here now to discuss how small business is big news. Good morning. And Marjorie, we know that small business is higher with some 70% of the, of the uh, jobs in America. We still have 66% of small businesses are the employers for the country. And that's probably going to continue to grow as large corporations stay flat in their growth. It's just, it's just no other way that it can happen. Mm -hmm. So everyone is looking to make sure that they sustain small business, get them the financing that they need, help them to really posture themselves and position themselves so that they can continue to be the economic engine for future employment I mean, down the road. We really want to get into that and how to sustain yourselves once you start a small business. But because of the economic downturn, are we seeing a lot of people who are laid off simply going out there and starting their own business, perhaps without the proper tools that they need to succeed? Absolutely. Small business, starting small business is probably up about 200%. Absolutely. People, even though the economy and not, they talk about employment has shifted, we know that they have just not gotten any more unemployment. So what they're doing now is going forward, and they are now starting their own business. Mm -hmm. Now, the good news, bad news is that coming from a manager's point of view to being a CEO, it's a transition period. So that's why there's different programs out there that people need to get involved with, like the 10,000 small business through Goldman Sachs, through SCORE, through the SBA. They need to do those kinds of programs so they can define their strategy so they can have maximum growth. What's a good first step? If somebody has an idea, they don't know the first thing maybe about putting together a business plan, they don't know what resources are out there, what's a good first step to take? Every, every university has a program on how to develop a business, every single university. So you have to check that out. Go online. You can Google any place you want to go if you really, really want to move this business forward. There's so many people that approach me and say, hey, I've got a great idea. Everybody's said, okay, got a good idea. How are right? you going to finance it? How are you going to move it? How are you going to get to your customers? How are you going to market it? What are you going to do to make sure that you're on top of your game once you step out there? Because it's one thing to start a business. It's another thing to sustain it. Right. Exactly. And a lot of people who have ideas don't realize all of these other elements that you have yes. to be aware of. Yes. Uh, uh, talk about what are your strategies for success. Well, you know, as you know, my background was in corporate America. So what I tried to do was idolize what I learned when I worked in large corporate and bring it to my small business impact. And the second thing I did, I went back to school and worked on my MBA and then did an additional finance degree because I could see where business was slowly evolving around conversation of business, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you didn't know finance, you didn't know profit and loss, you didn't know how quick your money was turning, if you didn't know those terms, it was very difficult to know how your business was doing besides I have a job and I received a check. Mm -hmm. So those were some of the strategies that we used. And I also diversified. It was very important and for any business today to diversify. If you sell cupcakes, make sure you know how to have a cooking school in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if everyone's not eating a cupcake, you can at least have a school going forward in the front. Right. So those were some of the tools that we used, and that's why we started up in transportation as well. And that's helped us to maintain and continue our success in our business. What about networking? How key is that? You know what? That is the tool today. Who you know? and how you actually approach them. One of the key things I tell people in network, don't approach you because they think you can do something for me. Approach mm -hmm. a person because you can do something for each other. Mm -hmm. What's your added value when you walk up to a person? You know, okay, I can do this, but you know what, this is what I can also bring back to the table. That's the best form of networking. So many people get lost and, oh, I want to meet. Okay, well, now that you have met, you have your five minute elevator pitch, it has to bring value back to that person right. so that they can continue to remember and hold you in tune with their thought process. The old question job. of what's in it for me and looking at it through the other person's prism. That's exactly right. And if you don't do that, the networking will get a little lost in translation. You know, you hear a lot of, uh, in, when, when you're in the business world, the elevator pitch is kind of a buzzword. Tell me what that means. You know, everyone has who you are in five minutes. You can't describe who you are in five minutes. Don't do the elevator pitch. Listen, I can do A, B, C, D, E, and F, and this is what I'm going to bring back. And if you can't do those 10 things in five minutes, then you're not ready for your elevator pitch. So that's all it is. It's just about knowing who you are, what your product is, and what you're trying to offer to the other person. What, what about the, the uh, go ahead, Brian. Well, I was going to say, we hear about the economy beginning to come back and investors beginning to loosen the purse strings. Is this a good time for people who are starting small businesses to try to get out there and, and get investment money? I think it's cautionary optimism right now. I think that even if you want to start a small business in the best of times, everyone is not entrepreneurial developed. Right. I mean, I got to tell you, it's a, it's a, a unique talent 
to be a very successful entrepreneur. You want to go in knowing that you can knock it out of the box. And that means you're open, you're pliable, you're willing to take risk, you're willing to do a lot of things that you weren't doing when you were working for someone else that had 25 departments. So it's going to take you a minute or two to get really, really comfortable in being an entrepreneur. So it's a good time if you're, if you're very successful in your thought process. You're in the construction business. It's been hit hard. How are you doing? We're doing actually well because I diversify. So I actually do a lot of work for the federal government on the transportation side. So my diversification strategy of 10 years ago has helped me to succeed today. Marjorie Perry, we wish you continued success Thank and you. we would love to welcome you back to the show another Thank time. Thank you. Love All to. Right. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. All right.